hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel agri study with tasif let us discuss about the insects of forensic importance what is forensic entomology forensic entomology is defined as the use of insects and their arthropod relatives that inhabit decomposing remains to aid legal investigations so with the help of the insects which remain which stay live and feed on the dead and decomposing human beings or animals etc so with the help of this insects we can solve such criminal cases history of forensic entomology in the year 1235 ad sang zu is the first person to use insect evidence to solve a crime in china forensic entomology was first documented by him in the book entitled the washing away of wrongs so an animal was killed in a village of china the suspects were called with their sickles flies got attracted to only one sickle hence there was some serological evidence on the sickle the person to whom the sickle belongs is the murderer so this case was solved first time in china with the help of insects in the year 1668 francisco redi is the first to prove that maggots arise from eggs laid by flies discrediting the theory that maggots grew out of rotting meat abiogenesis in the year 1855 bagret d arbois is the first to use entomology to use post mortem interval post mortem interval pmi is defined as the time period between death of the individual or animal to recovery of the dead body in the year 1881 hermann reinhard is the first to systematically study exhumed bodies and the insects associated with them so this scientist first time he exhumed he recovered the dead bodies and he studied on on the insects which were living and feeding on the dead body in the year 1894 jean perry magnin is the first to identify eight stages of human decomposition in the year 1898 dr murray motter examined the stages of decomposition and insect succession on buried human remains in the year 1960 jerry penne reduced the number of stages of decomposition from 8 to 6 in the year 1996 american board of forensic entomology was founded so there are three categories of forensic entomology the first one is medical legal forensic entomology the second urban criminal or civil forensic entomology or th- and the third one stored product that is civil forensic entomology the first one medico legal forensic entomology determination of the time that is the post mortem interval or pmi or a site of human death based on the identification of arthropods collected from or near the corpse cases involving possible sudden death traffic accident with no obvious cause possible criminal misuse of the insects and other uses include movement of the corpse manner and cause of death association of suspects with the death scene and detection of toxins drugs or even the dna of the victim through analysis of insect larvae so when an person is killed with the use of toxins or poison or drugs so after during uh, exemption the samples collected Uh, samples of insects collected from the dead body uh, with that insects the toxins present on the dead body will be consumed by the insects so these insects are studied and uh, they the scientist identify which toxin was you or the drug was used to kill the human person urban forensic entomology legal proceedings involving insects and related animals that affect man made structures and other aspects of the human environment stored product forensic entomology mainly focuses on contamination of food products infestation in food stores pre harvest contaminations so this uh, stored product forensic entomology makes sure food standards are high and safe 
the drug uh, food and drug and administration sets regulations on insect contamination around a wide range of food so major order forensic orders are only two the diptera order and the coleoptera order so flies from diptera and beetles from coleoptera are the main insects which feed on the dead organisms the first one blue bottle flies from the family califoridae order diptera blue bottle flies are the attractive insects which are blue color or green color and they have a metallic shine on their body and their size is large than compared to a common house fly blow flies can pick up faint traces of odor of decay from up to 2.5 kilometers away and lay their eggs in a suitable corpse so even though the dead bodies are so far these insects can uh, detect a dead body with the help of the smell even though it is as far as 2.5 kilometers blow flies are one of the first insects to arrive at a cadaver they prefer fresh and moist flesh so with the help of insects we can identify the pmi that is post mortem interval of a dead body uh, if uh, a human being has dead within 1 to 2 days of time so this insect eggs or the larvae are found on the dead body then the pmi would have been assumed to be 1 to 2 days because this insects prefer only moist flesh That means the fresh dead bodies so here is a image uh, on the callotropis plant there are many bottle flies this blue or green bottle flies actually here uh, dog was buried Uh, below this um, uh, soil and uh, because of the odor produced by the decomposing dog these insects got attracted and uh, they settled on the plant slowly they uh, go inside the soil and they start laying eggs on the decomposing dog the life cycle of blow fly consists of six parts the egg the three larval stages the pupal stage and then adult so when the eggs are laid by the adult within 23 hours it gets con uh, it gets converted into the first instar and uh, this first instar within 27 hours it gets converted into the second instar and uh, within 22 hours again it gets converted into the third instar and within 130 hours it gets converted into pupa and uh, within 143 hours it gets converted into adult at 70 degrees fahrenheit the blue fly's life takes as known as the amount of the time to complete the next one is the common house flies from the family musidae so from the order diptera so adults are most common at corpses in the early stages of the decomposition when the corpse is moist when the dead body is moist in early stages of decomposition same as blue bottle flies this uh, house flies the common house flies uh, attract get attracted to the fre uh, fresh dead bodies and uh, these insects are comparatively little smaller than the bottle flies the larvae are usually excreta feeders so if they are excreta feeders Uh, they will be mostly found at the rectum or the intestine regions of the dead body flesh flies from the family sarcophagidae order diptera so most flesh flies breed in dead animal dead animals dung or decaying material but a few species lay their eggs in the open wounds of mammals hence their common name so these insects even they lay the x in the open wounds of the mammals coprophagus fly family sepsidae order diptera coprophagus means dung feeding the meaning of coprophagus meaning is dung feeding the fly feeds on dung and are mostly found on the flesh freshly laid cattle dung where they eat and reproduce head thorax and abdomen are constricted 
so they are having a constriction on the head and uh, thorax and uh, between the thorax and abdomen also they flatter their wings when they are feeding so they doesn't land on the dead body decomposing material they are continuously their wings and they are feeding this is the characteristic feature to identify they invade the dead bodies and reproduce on it example is sepsis uh, synepsia then cheese skipper or ham skipper from the family pophilidae order diptera the name skipper comes from the ability of the larvae to hop or skip as it moves so the larva will be hopping or it will be jumping from one place to another they feed on meats and cheeses and they are a serious pest in many parts of the world they are also found feeding on the cadavers fungus and dried bones example is pophilia casei lesser house fly family fanidae they feed on the fecal matter and digested materials of the dead body maggots are mainly found on the digestive tract of the dead body fania canicularis small or lesser dung and corpse flies from the family spereoceridae they feed on the dead bodies manures decaying matter seaweed and dung they are 1.5 to 5 mm in size black winged with interrupted costa they belong to the family order diptera then now comes the beetle families carrion beetle from the family sylphidae sylphids are large carrion beetles that feed on both carrion and fly larvae even though adults have been recorded feeding on carrion they cannot survive on it alone and die if they do not have access to maggots it is the early beetle arriving on a dead body so they feed on the maggot larvae dipteran larvae sorry they feed on the uh, maggots of uh, this flies and if the fly maggots are not available they cannot survive hister beetles or clown beetles from the family hysteridae order coleoptera they are the first beetles to arrive at carrion they generally hide under a corpse during the daylight and only become active at night so they are arriving only at night time when they enter the maggot infested parts of the corpse to capture and devour the maggots the adult feeds on the larvae and pupae of all blow fly species so the adults lay their eggs in the corpse and the larvae feed on the blow fly pupa when they emerge rove beetle from the family staphylinidae they eat the fauna residing on and inside a corpse adults are early visitors to a corpse and they feed on the larvae and eggs of all species of the fly including predatory fly larvae they lay their eggs in the corpse and the emerging larva is also a predator they have very well developed strong sclerotinized mandibles with the help of that they feed on the corps and uh, even on the maggots and other such families of uh, coleoptera are hide beetles from the family dermestidae they feed on the skin skin of the dead bodies and trogid beetles from the family trogidae they feed on the the remains of the dead bodies and uh, checkered or bone beetles family claridae they feed on the bones they are the last uh, beetles which arrive on the dead body after the consumption of uh, all the flesh the remaining tendons of the muscles and the bones are consumed by this beetle sap feeding beetles from the family nitidulidae they are the beetles which arrive at the last stages of the decomposition forensic stages of cadaver decomposition 
so the first one is the fresh stage it lasts for one to two days and it commences at death ends when bloating is the first emittent so as soon as the bloating starts then the stage gets end then breakdown of protein and carbohydrates into simple compounds blow flies house flies carry on beetles and the hister beetles are the first insects which arrive at the fresh stage bloated stage it lies between 2 to 6 days putrefaction begins gases are produced by anaerobic bacteria inflation of the abdomen and uh, the abdomen burst out at this stage blow flies house flies carry on beetles row beetle flesh flies and hister beetles are found at this stage decaying stage it lasts from 5 to 11 days abdominal wall breaks allowing gases to escape at this stage also abdominal walls just break out and the gases ex escape carcasses deflates just after the abdomen just breaks the carcasses the dead body it deflates and blow flies house flies carry on beetles row beetle flesh flies hister beetle and netodulidae sap feeders dermestid beetles and scarabids this population starts increasing in the post decaying stage post decay stage day 10 to 15 in dry habits remains are skin cartilage and bones in uh, wet habits viscous material in the soil under the remains netodulidae sap beetles and dermestid beetles and scarabids are found at this stage a dry stage it is uh, more than 25 days mainly bones and uh, hair remain odor is primarily that of normal soil and litter can last several months to years nitidulidae sapidus dermestid beetles and scarabids are found at this stage stages of decomposition so as we have studied uh, in the previous slide this slide includes the same data it is the data of the insects uh, population it is the data of the insect population present at uh, different uh, stages of the decomposition thank you